The first Latter-day Saint Temple in the state of Wyoming was dedicated Sunday morning by Elder David Bednar of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. His wife Susan was with him. She grew up here in Star Valley and tens of thousands of saints across the state participated in the dedication by watching it at their meeting houses. <laughs> The choir sang as Elder Bednar and other church leaders exited the temple for the cornerstone ceremony. They put mortar around the cornerstone and then invited some children up to participate. It seems most appropriate that the choir can see its breath as you're singing in Star Valley, Wyoming. What we're about to do is ceremonial. We're going to take some mortar and begin to seal in the cornerstone of the temple. Actually, we're not really going to seal it. We're going to participate in the ceremony. The real craftsmen will come much later and make it look the way it's supposed to look because we don't really do it all that well. But it's a marvelous reminder that Jesus the Christ is the cornerstone of his church restored to the earth in these latter days. The temple was announced on October 1st, 2011. Latter-day Saints have been waiting years for a temple of their own. And one of the people in attendance today was Sister Barbara Perry, the wife of the late elder. Tom Perry. Did you ever think a temple would be here? No, no. I, I think of my grandparents and my uh, father. My father was a bishop in Coldwell for nearly 23 years and they were a part of building and then later he was <coughs> president of the Montpelier Stake. So I think how thrilled they all would be to know. But I don't think we ever dreamed we'd have a temple so close. It's wonderful. Over 70,000 people went through the temple during a two-week public open house. Folks who live here say this temple is going to make a difference in their community. It's going to make it possible for us to just, after work, run up and go to the temple. It's going to just cut the time in half for us to be able to come to the temple. And I'm excited for my kids. Three dedicatory services were held today, and once the temple officially opens tomorrow, saints will no longer need to travel to Idaho Falls or other temples to worship. Reporting in Star Valley, I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.